We begin our program today with a question from a listener in Oregon who writes, You once made a statement referring to the cross as a tree rather than an old rugged cross. Can you explain this? Where you get the idea that he was nailed on an old rugged cross, you get that from a song. And that song may be scripturally accurate, but the chances are it's not. The Roman Empire, when they crucified, they did a wholesale job of it. And to say that only three men were crucified there that day is to ignore a great deal that is historical. And I agree with Sir William Ramsey when he says that instead of three men being crucified, There could have been 300 crucified. And instead of making a lot of nice crosses that we see today, I just think that they got together a lot of uprights, just one piece. And each man was nailed to one piece. And there were probably a 100 pieces of trees that were cut out. And you see in that area, there were trees in that day. We know now that those olive trees that are there today, they've come up even since the days of Christ, and they're probably offshoots of the trees that were there in Christ's day. That was a heavily wooded section, and Roman soldiers cut down the trees, used them for making a fire and heat and for cooking, and also for crucifying men. We have made so much of The cross, the word for cross just means an upright. Styros just means an upright, and that's all in the world that it means. The thing that lends value to it is the fact that the Lord Jesus Christ was there, gave up his life, and shed his blood. And friends, beyond that, it was nothing in the world but just a piece of wood. And there's no merit in it, no value in it, It is said that at least 14 carts of pieces of the cross were hauled away from one cathedral. And believe me, if you put together all the pieces of that cross that have supposed to have been found, you'd have enough to make a six-room house with two baths. It's perfect nonsense to put emphasis where it does not belong. The emphasis is upon the one who died there, and he shed his precious blood. That is the place of emphasis, by the way.